Behold, the blood of morning has been shed. The first new blood, one might say. Is it not? Wonderful. Drink it in. That is really weird. Why would you say it like that? Also, wait. Why is there ranch dressing all over this leafling? Um, I don't know. He must have come like that. Cohen, do you know anything about it? I do not. I have no idea. Why would you even look at me? Do I look like I like salad? I am. I weigh twice what any of you do. Real estate assistant, Case. Oh, of course, the real estate. Yeah, people are gonna move into this vast wilderness, this luscious, luscious wildlands. Oh my word. <coughs> Chowder secretary at Tur Tolbo Real Estate. Loyal to the core, he puts up with a lot from his impulsive and unpredictable boss from the home planet of Maxima. Well, uh, new guy, don't don't bother, don't mind all of the salad dressing on you. Uh, we had a mishap. Do you have more flowers? That's all I care about is flowers. Uh, oh, oh, wow, that's insane. Can you, can you bloom more flowers? That would be even amazing. Or, uh, yes, th 300 more flowers. This almost seems like an infinite quest. Okay, uh, I guess it, it just goes on forever. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. It also seems like I might continually reward you for the same accomplishment. I, yes, it is 300, so these are infinite quests. I'm Twyla. I appreciate your help. I came here as a geologist with the, the research task force, but frankly, I can't get off this planet fast enough. There's so much dirt here. I hate it. Can't can I just get some rocks with without dirt? Oh man, I really want to go to a dirtless planet. Ah, don't think it's possible to express how grateful I am for your dare and rescue. I am forever indebted to you. My name is Kays. I'm the assistant to the president of the Tobo Real Estate Corporation. My employer and I came to this planet for a site visit. Busca? Um, I hate to bother you, but it is my employer, Chowder. All, all right. Oh, so you haven't come across him? Yeah, honey. I'm sure you're very busy, and this is such a selfish request, but could you try to find my employer? I'm sure he's okay. He can take care of himself and is probably just taking his time exploring, but please do keep an eye out. I haven't got a check in ages. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I've been hoping for at last. Oh, yeah, you had, like, a quest. I thought you were just the plastic surgery person. I've come up with a brand new look inspired by those leaf cuties, and it's all thanks to you. Care to give it a try? You might like it. Besides, I've got a good feeling the foliage look is going to be the trend. We now have the ability to turn ourselves into a leafling. Okay. The biggest chomp there ever was. Air armor. Ochi's now also as tough as he can be. Oh, never mind. You ain't seen nothing yet. Good morning, Jeffrey. You're looking a little bit pastier than normal. Is it a new skin routine, or is it your fraternis fraternization with the white Pikmin? Maybe you should get some sunlight, Jeffrey. What do you want? Let's go back to the hero's hideaway. Back to the hero's hideaway. Oh boy. When last we were here, we found a safe. Oh yeah, that. I totally forgot about the calculator. And today, uh, how do I pack? Let's use the survey drone here. Time is frozen, so I can just wheel over here. I just need a, re a quick reminder of the plot here. I think it's time for us to... Oh, I, I guess we can go to the counter. The counter is what we need to go to. So, we're gonna need ice pikmen. 
Yeah, we're going to need ice Pikmin mainly to freeze the water. Ice and blues, probably. Ice, blues, and maybe flying? Ice, blues, and flying. We could also dig that up, which I don't know where that goes, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Ice, blues, and flying is, is my idea. All the flying. I think 20 blues. Yeah, I, I actually, we also have some ice bulb orbs, so we're gonna need an abnormally large number of ice pigment anyway. I think that's a good squad. It's not terribly good at fighting, because as far as I can tell, um, as far as I can tell, ice pigmen don't deal that much damage, but it should be fine. It should be fine. All right. And we're going all together today. Uh, I don't know where Moss is. Oh, there. There she is. So we're going to want to avoid that. Uh, just as a quick reminder. Oh, that's interesting. It stays there. Oh, okay. So we could change this now. Let's go ahead and do this. This is six. This is seven, and I'm curious. I really want to know if I can brute force this. Because now we only have nine different, or ten different combinations it could be. So let's find out. Can I? Is one of these just going to open it? Almost. Almost all of them. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I brute forced it. Oh, sup? This is awkward. This is really awkward. Oh. It's that leafling again, isn't it? Huh, they're hiding in a bunker. Could that mean after all this oh. time, this leafling is Captain Olimar? Oh. Dun dun dun. You've done well to find this place. Oh. Now the final test awaits. Come. Um. I'm not gonna be forced in there. I might look that dog. If that really is Captain Olimar, then he needs to come home with us by force if necessary. Jeff, Ochi, it's go time. Follow that leafling. It's open. I don't want to go in. That leafling was inside the bunker. Could it be Captain Olimar after all? That's... I, I just wanted a proof of concept. I didn't, can I shut this? I can't shut it. Um... I don't want to, like, end the game. Bye! <laughs> I don't- I don't want that. Well, uh, that's- that's really awkward. Ooh, uh... I don't- <laughs> that, So that's kind of cool, though, that you can just brute force it if you want. You- you could have none of the clues and just do it. Okay, I- I want to go up here... Oh, this is where I want to go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, we need to ram that guy. To turn him on his back. Nice. And then we need to ram that guy. Uh, there, there's probably a way to kill them without Ochi, but it's not immediately obvious. Uh, let's make good use of our Dandori and just send Ochi after that. Um, Ice Pikmin and a Frigid Dweevil. This is gonna look cool. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a little bit awkward. Okay, guys, can you... Okay, this is embarrassing. Y you, you can do this. Come on. Please kill him. It took, like, 40 of you to do that. And two of you fell. That's very embarrassing. At least there are no consequences of this. That's the cool thing about Ice Pikmin, is that even, th even though they don't fight that well, so they're going to be shaken off... Oh, this is gonna... Uh, we'll come back to that. They're gonna be shaken off. At the very least... At the very least... Oh, 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 oh! I forgot to mention. Oh, this goes to the floor. Which is very useful. Uh, at the, at the very least, they, they spawn their own nectar. Uh, I found... I found a keyboard... Or, not keyboard. I found a controller shortcut that changes... Kind of changes everything. Uh, flying... Oh, you guys are smart enough to do that. There, perfect. And then you'll come back. Okay. Uh, left. Left on the D-pad. I have assigned it to switch captains, so no no more of this. No more of this, which sounds like a tiny thing. But, oh my word, is it's gonna be- it's so nice as a quality of life feature. Really? You're- 
There's another one of you? Okay. Well, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, oh my god, this is... This is just sad. Okay, there you go. I'm taking the flying Pikmin because in my mind they're gonna, I don't know, do this a little bit faster. I don't know which path they're taking. Actually, this is a good question. While watching them, they're going down that. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can go on top of the counter, and we can also freeze that. But we can also dismiss all but the blues. Deal with that. In the sink. And there we go. Man, that would have been... I mean, they've done it before. They've had the cave entrance be a drain before. And that would be really sweet if they did it again. Uh, it also looks like freezing that doesn't get me anywhere. Because I can't jump that high. Also, I don't need to... I don't need to have Ochi. I don't need to be riding Ochi to do this. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. And Ochi... Uh, I kind of I kind of want you around, bro. I don't think we need blues right now. Uh, let's call the idle Pikmin. I need Ochi to jump up here. So that was that was good that I didn't I didn't have him carry that. Okay, we're on the counter. We're making good progress. Oh, I just realized. I just realized. Okay, first off, you guys. Come on. Okay, we'll do that attack. I just realized and I'm gonna have to separate from Ochi. What are they doing? What are... Oh, they're coming back to me. Okay. Uh, I don't know where... I don't know where... Moss is, and that's very concerning. Um, I think I'm gonna have to switch... And send Ochi back to base. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Have it. Okay. So we're on the stove top here. This, this is kind of sweet. We have... I can't get in that right now. Like, I can't jump up there. I'm going to need Ochi. Can I turn these off? No? I can't turn the burner off? Okay. I can't get up there. I have to get up... I have to get up to this counter from... Oh, my word. Do you see that? Do you see that? That's an ice onion! That's priority one. That is priority one right now. We're, go we're going to that. Wait, what? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can take that one piece of plastic. I don't even know why that was there, but we have a piece of plastic. Uh, let's go down, and while we do, I'll switch. I'm not in immediate danger. I'm fine. Okay, I need to switch. Where is Moss? I don't know where Moss is. But my Pikmin aren't... haven't been hijacked, so maybe... maybe it's okay. Maybe it's fine. As long as I stay up, then it should be okay. Uh, let's send Ochi back to Jeff, and then, uh, start tackling these. I am kind of worried. This is the first time... oh, that just works. This is the first time that I... I've ignored Moss largely up until now, and I've... I've also enabled Moss to get to me easier by by building up these pads. So at some point we're probably going to run into each other, and, or the, Moss is going to cause a major issue, and we're going to have to sidetrack. Kill you. I don't know if this bull boar will wake up upon seeing me. Boy, we're at the halfway part point of the day. Ready? Oh wait. You can die. Go. Can't freeze him. Go, Ochi. Not difficult at all. Okay, we're good. I do kind of miss the, the the old snowy bull borbs. The ones that uh that had fur. They were super cute. And there was a random chance that if they died, they wouldn't lose their fur. And that was so it was so adorable when it happened, because you had a dead carcass that was furry? I I just kind of realized how bad that sounded as I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my way. Are you gonna get another one? No? Okay. There we go. Uh, you guys can, yeah, go ahead and kill the, the gold. How do I get up? There's a switch here that presumably brings us to the platform. I really want to get that, that onion. That'd be awesome. Us having a, an ice onion kind of changes the game. Okay, go on. Go on, Flying Pikmin. Um, I'm going to save that for the ice onion. I will, however, work on that. Flying Pikmin are going to be good. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot of mites. Oh, my word. In fact... Oh man, this is gonna be great. Ready, set, carnage! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Let's do that again. Vehicular manslaughter, go! Cool. Uh, and then I think we can clean up the rest of the corpses. Come on, guys. Get them. I guess they can kill Pikmin. And, but they didn't. Move base. Bing bada bing. We've established a foothold in the kitchen. Yeah, it doesn't look like Olimar made this base. How can you tell? Wait, what What kind of weird foreshadowing, like omnipotent foreshadowing is that? Ooh, that's a frigid, a frigid blog. Oh boy. That's not what I expected to see. Deal with the mites, deal with the mites, deal with the mites. Okay. These, these blue Pikmin are happening. Somehow they didn't die. Target these guys. Focus our targets properly. Okay. There we go. We're done. We got it. And now I feel a lot safer from, from Moss. Like a lot safer. But that doesn't answer the question of how do we get up there? Um, maybe there's a way to get, or unless, can I target that? If I can target that, then I can get flying Pikmin up to it, but it looks like we need to get it from above. Maybe, I, I don't even know. How do we, how do we get that? Like, I think we might be ending by going into that cave, but I, I want that I want that onion super bad. But it looks like I might not get my wish. Okay, well, um... I don't think we need Red Pikmin to get there. Yeah, we don't need Red Pikmin to get in the cave. I just need Ochi because we're both fireproof. I leave the Pikmin behind, and then I jump up, and then I get the, uh... You, you know what? You guys can go ahead and work on this. Just because... there There's going to be uh, more than enough to go around, and it's not going to be worth all of the backtracking that I'm going to do. I totally forgot that I, I summoned you guys there. Yeah, it's not going to be worth the backtracking to, do, to uh, get those few extra Pikmin. Okay. Well... How did we get up there? That's super weird. It goes down to the count or to the drawer. So we need to get to the drawer and then we need to get up here. So this is like the last stage. Oh! Oh! I, I understand. I totally understand. But I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to be quick when I get out of the hole. What they, we're gonna come out of this cave on the top of the counter. All right, let's go inside. The frozen inferno already ringing a bell. The flaming entrance was so hot, I could, I never could have made my way in without a scorch guard. The true surprise was that once I got further into the cave, it was like walking into a cold refrigerator. Hopefully the red Pikmin, Moss, and I get through this. Fire and ice Pikmin, I'm guessing? Just reds. I'm not sure if I agree with that. 
Oh, but I have no choice. Oh boy, that's that's concerning. The last, I mean, the other cave in Pikmin history that I'm given no choice on is the submerged slash engulfed castle. Is this the red submerged castle? Let's find out. Sweet Torrent, be warned, if you take a bite of this doughy, cr doughy raft, you'll quickly find yourself awash in a torrential river of sweet cream. Your only choice is to eat, eat, eat as quickly as you can. If you can't keep up, ask someone to throw you a life preserver before it's too late. Love's fortune cookie. Do they love me? Do they love me not? These are the questions we have all asked ourselves at one time or another. And this cookie has the answer. Simply eat each tasty petal as you ask your question. What will the answer be? The final bite will tell. Hearty container. The shape of this treasure represents perhaps the most important things there are in the universe. Life and love. If you pour your heart into this cookie and give it to someone you care about, it's sure to have a powerful effect on them. The SS Berry. This spaceship was clearly styled to look like a cake with fruit atop it. I suspect it was specially designed for couples heading to space on their honeymoon. Goodness, I hope no one tries to eat it. The ship might crash in some strange locale. Hardly the idyllic vacation newlyweds dream of. Disc of Angry Wisdom. Better keep an eye out when in close proximity to this sentient disc. Apparently, it has a bit of an anger management problem. Further details about its tendency to lash out have been lost to time, which makes it all the more intimidating, does it not? Disc of Sorrowful Wisdom. In moments of sorrow, there may be, it may be helpful to consult with this unusually intelligent life form. Empathy is one of the highest forms of intelligence, so this disc surely has more than enough to share with you. You may not be able to hear its wisdom, but you will feel it. Sometimes you wake up and decide that today will be unlike any other standard issue day. Today, you tell yourself, will be filled with fun and amusement. And what could be more amusing than dancing? Why nothing? On days like this, simply grab this disc and get your groove on. Swing it round with abandon. Yes, soon enough, you will have to return to life as usual. But I promise it's okay to let your inner rhythm take you away on occasion. Should you ever find yourself stunned beyond words, this wise creature will be a true friend to you. Let its waves of knowledge wash over you and bring about a deep inner calm. Indeed, there's something soothing about simply being in its presence. Bottom left, memory fragment. Two flat sides and a corner. Could this fragment belong in the bottom left position? Or does it go above in the top right spot? No, my gut instincts say bottom left. Sometimes your gut is all you have to go on, and go you must. I've consulted the discs, and they've told me that it is the bottom left corner. Ah, the very heart of the robot. It all comes together right here. Separate parts join to co separate parts join to become one. Voila, a team is born. It takes determination and drive to pull everyone together. But that's what the heart of a team does, and that's how victory is won. Kickstart Combo Bot. This robot's right leg is planted solely on the ground. Its stance is firm. This posture says, you can do anything if only you have the courage and the conviction to do it. Inspiring, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Now I too am ready to put my very own foot down on the ground. Buddy Display. This device not only stores, but also displays images from the distant past. And there's something about the image frozen on the screen now. The two friendly creatures pictured there are familiar somehow. Try as I might, I can't quite put my finger on it. Probably the devs' dogs. Solar-powered computing machine. This enormous computing machine not only allows for complex number crunching, but ensures those critical calculations can be completed whenever needed. Note the enormous power cell that powers it. Whoever built this marvel has harnessed the incandescent fury of the sun itself, and turned it into math. Spinning memories plank. Spinning, spinning. These memories are spinning in my head. Or are they memories of spinning itself? Wait, what is happening? I'm starting to believe this mysterious black plank actually contains someone else's memories. Dizzyingly strange. Dimension converter. The technology built into these specs are, is incredible. To begin, there's a filter in each lens that alters the light at the quantum level. Dimensions are converted in the process, and things you couldn't see that were right in front of you are revealed. Eye-opening. Power Emblem. There can be no doubt that the symbol seen here represents power. Look at it. Everything about it screams strength. 
Surely, in the right and even the wrong hands, its power would be immense. Perhaps it's best not to approach it unless you have to. Talisman of Life, Rain. The ancient people turned to this luck wafer when things weren't going well for them. It served as a reminder that no matter how much it rained, the storm always eventually passed. And the same goes for hard times. These two always blow away on the breeze. Longshot Totem. Rolling the stone so that it lands on the specific symbol you want is no easy task. Twelve sides is a lot of sides. Why even try? But when you do at last get the symbol you hoped for, what a thrill. It is sure to keep you trying again and again. Takusso. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it pauses time, but only... Only partially, his ears are frozen, but he's slowly turned to look at Dalmo. <laughs> his eyes are wiggling. That's... <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah, we found these last episode. The dwarf Frosty Bulborb. The ice crystals on its back are finely detailed and delightfully iridescent. As a juvenile of the species, it sometimes overproduces that sparkling layer of crystals. One of its parents would then snappity crack away at the ice so it doesn't weigh the little one down. My heart melts when I see such loving family dynamics out in the wild. Frosty Bulborb. A creature that thrives in the coldest climates. Its ice-coated haunches shimmer like a living jewel in the frigid air. You can admire the way it sparkles to your heart's content, but don't get too close. You'll get frosty frozen on the spot if you touch it. Breadbug. It looks like your breakfast table's longtime staple. A loaf of bread with perfect color and buttery shine. Just from looking at it, I swear the aroma of baking wafts past my nose. But if you've never seen your bread loafing about like this, if you observe them for a while, you might catch them dragging things around with their mouths. It's heart meltingly adorable. Giant breadbug. Perfectly cooked, golden brown and fluffy. It must be a fresh baked loaf of bread. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. This is the wildly unique giant bread bug with the texture and vibrancy only a living creature could possess. Don't let your guts and eyes deceive you. This lumbering muffin might just take offense if you mistake it for a loaf of fresh bread.